So we want to welcome back another special guest to the show. We have Cassie DePiva, who played Bobby Joe in Evil Dead 2. Uh, welcome to the show, Cassie. Thank you, Sam. It's nice to actually talk about Evil Dead 2. Who knew 25 years it would still have the legs that it does now? Still going strong, and um, by the looks of things with the, the new Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show, it's, it's, it's only going to get more popular. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy. It's mind-boggling to me that it was one of the first things that I did as an actress. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? A horror film and whatever. And then I went on to have like a, a very lot, long career in American soap operas. Yeah. Um, but still, I'll have people stop me randomly going, oh my gosh, you're Bobby Joe. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> It, it it's still very shocking to me. I mean, how did how did the the role come about for you? Obviously, you said it was one of the first things you did. I mean, how did it did it did you audition? Was you approached? I was definitely um, I auditioned. I had come off the road uh, singing with an R and B singer called Bobby Womack, and I had been on the road with him for about three years. And I had been doing acting in college and commercial work out here in Los Angeles, but I thought, you know what, it's time to get serious with the acting. So I, um, my agent submitted me for this film, and I auditioned for it, and I got a call back, and then um, I guess they heard me scream and <laughs> um, <laughs> realized that I could do the part. I mean, do, do you remember what scene it was you auditioned for, or is it just sort of like a generic horror scene or something like that it was kind of generic i remember they wanted to to show they wanted to do an improvisation of me being afraid what you know what that would be like um screaming um that's about all i remember I, but i do remember uh rob tappert was in the room i mean i remember the guys in the room yeah but i you know i was you know, a green bean when it came to acting and all that kind of stuff. So it was, you no, know, it was just exciting. I, but I do definitely remember it. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, one of my favorite scenes of yours in the film is uh, when, when uh, you, the, like, basically, you, the cast are in the, um, in the room with the sort of like the spirit head talking to you, and um, <laughs> and it's yourself and um, Danny Hicks, his character, uh, are holding yeah. hands, but you're not actually holding hands, and uh, you, you yeah, that's no, it. You hold my hand too tight. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's just this very long just scene of you just screaming, screaming. It's just dragged out so long. It's just hilarious. Yeah, it, it, you know, when we're doing it, we didn't realize it would have the the humor aspect. Yeah. Of course, watching Bruce Campbell do all of his shtick back in the day, it was, it was just such a, a learning experience for me, mm. watching him work. And then he worked tirelessly, and it was hot down yeah. in North Carolina. And Sam was so wonderful, and um, everybody just encouraged everybody. And it, it was definitely a team effort. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of, do you remember sort of coming on set? And as you said, it didn't feel like you were doing sort of like a comedy film. At the time, I mean, I see him just getting like sprayed with blood in a dark and eerie cabin, screaming a lot. It, it probably doesn't feel like it, but the the film played well, like for the scares and for the the, the comedic value in that. But um, I mean, right? It felt scary to me. It felt more yeah. scary to me with the monsters and the you know the the cut off arms and the you know it seemed gory. And then the amounts of you know they were very. Uh, they had to be very careful with the color of the bile that yeah. came out of the walls just because they were afraid of the X-rating and, mm. you know, they're trying to rate it, yeah. even though um, it wasn't nearly as gory as anything that that is out now. But yeah. at the time, it, it, you know, the the rating people were definitely more serious about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, did you did you manage to see the first film before you auditioned, or? Yes, and I thought, oh my, what have I gotten myself <laughs> into? Yeah. But because I am not a huge horror fan, uh, horror film watcher. Yeah. Um, 
but it, it's funny. I think I went like five years without watching it. And my um, teenage son had not ever seen it. Yeah. And now he's like, oh, my gosh, my mom's in this movie. And um, it, it's just interesting how it still, sta- you know, it stands and and people laugh. And it's, it's a lot of laugh out loud kind of funny. I mean, especially the scene where the the tree is basically trying to consume you, <laughs> your character. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it it's oh, it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, it's it's horrific at the same time. Like the, 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 there's there's like twigs and that going it, like getting poked into your face and your mouth and that. I mean, what how was that done? Was it basically just like right? Let's put the camera in front of your face and we're going to poke you with sticks. Yeah, it was kind of like that. A lot of my um, things that I did on camera, whether it was eating the, the flying eyeball. Nice. And the vines, <laughs> that was all done with reverse camera work. Yeah. So everything I did, they started, you know, they had different shots, of course. It, uh, one shot was the eyeball even started in my mouth, and I had to uh, react in reverse as if it were going into my mouth. And then they pulled it so so it would look like it was flying into my mouth. Uh, uh, and then the, the vines were the same way. They started... Uh, they shot it with me with the vines already wrapped, and then I had to act like they were coming off of me. Yeah. I mean, coming onto me as if they were coming off of me. I can't, I can't imagine it being any, you know, more glamorous, you know, doing it in reverse than if it would have actually, like, the eyeball <laughs> been double. flying into your mouth. <laughs> it could have probably just no, I mean, it, But what's interesting is when you do horror films, how technical things are. So you really have to pay attention to... Um, those aspects because it's it's not just straight ahead acting. Yeah. You know, there are there because of the special effects. Okay. I mean what what would what would you say like a, a typical day on set was like sort of from the moment you woke up until the moment you'd gone home? I mean was it was it fun? Was it you know, was you I it know was Sam hot. I know Sam Raimi likes to torture Bruce Campbell. I mean, was that with all you guys or was it did he save that just for him? Uh, you know what? I think we all um, had experienced our days of torture. I mean, I know Ted Ramey in that big sweat suit, Hen- oh, Henrietta yeah. suit. I mean, he amazing. He didn't die in there of dehydration. <laughs> um, and I can tell you when the deer head, you know, becomes possessed and starts looking around the room and starts laughing hysterically. Uh, that day I was on set just watching because I loved learning um they wanted the cushions on the sofa to move and i'm going well i'm skinny i can i'll lay i'll lay under the sofa i'll I'll lay under the cushion so that's me laying you don't see me but i'm under the sofa under the cushions making them move up and down and laughing hysterically so So not bringing them not, not just bringing the magic in front of the camera you're also doing it behind the scenes as well yeah, so we, it was just really fun, and I, I'm, you know, I'm grateful that they gave me an opportunity because I'd come off the road as a singer, and I had done commercial work here out in Los Angeles, but not anything of any, you know, you know, of any substance yeah. as far as theatrical work. And when I came off, when I finished doing Evil Dead Two. I was immediately cast um, on The Guiding Light and had and moved to New York. So it was just kind of an exciting time in my career, and mm. I think Evil Dead launched it. Yeah. I mean, what what, what was the reaction sort of, um, like, how, how was it sort of received for you um, when, when it was finally released? You know, did, was it like your friends and family like, oh, this is awesome? Or was they like, you, well, you, you ate well, an eyeball? <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, it was, it was, I was living in New York when it was released, and I watched, Sam and I went to um, and watched it in one of the big theaters in Times Square, and I had never experienced an audience talking to the screen. Yeah. You know, when you're sitting in a horror film, you've got people going, go, 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 they're yelling at the screen. (laughs) <laughs> screen and I that was hilarious for me to sit there and they you know and that's when I knew it was really a special film because you know it was almost like um, an interactive 
film with the audience. It was maybe more like, um, oh gosh, what's the film? Uh, Rocky Horror. You know, yeah, people. Yeah, the audience it, it participate. Almost, yes, absolutely. And yell, don't go in there. Oh, Joe, you know, it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's very funny. Yeah. I mean, as I said, it's, you know, it's 25 years later and people are still, you know, they're still loving it and the new TV show and everything. I mean, have you have you had a chance to watch the show yet? No, I haven't. I, I saw the trailer. I did a um, a horror fest with Bruce Campbell. I want to yeah. say back in July or in August, and yeah. I saw the trailer. I don't have stars, um, but I definitely want to see it. Um, right. I think the premise is fun and wonderful, and I ran into Bruce about. Two months ago, and we had dinner out here in Los Angeles, and and it was right as it was being, you know, I think it was the week before it was released on Halloween, yeah. um, and so it was a week before that, and then I was very excited that Stars has picked up its second season even prior to it premiering. So it means it has a lot of. Um, uh, you know, a lot of heat behind it, and I'm very excited and happy for it. that 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 team. Even though I'm not involved in that production whatsoever, but I'm just happy for the guys, and um, it's you know, it's good, all good. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's sort of sort of like talk and rumors flying about that some of the original cast from the first sort of at least first two um, films. Might pop up here and there. Would you? I mean, if they asked you to come back, would you like? Would you? Would you jump on that? Uh yes. <laughs> that would be a capital Y E S. But that has not. That, you know, there might be rumors, but there is no. Um, no, no, true. Nothing no, at the moment. No, not, not yeah. yet. They shoot it in um, New, Zealand, New Zealand, so that yeah. might, that might be an expense that they can't afford to fly, you know, to fly some of these actors out there, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I mean, um, you were saying about you did a, a con back in July. I mean, do you, do you do many of the sort of like horror appearances or, I mean, would you like to? Oh, I would love to do them. And I, I, what I really love about the genre is these fans are so loyal mm. and they have such an appreciation you know, from their tattoos to their posters to their collections. And they truly collect um, uh, merchandise, paraphernalia, and they know these these films by heart. Yeah. And Ash is a superhero that, you know, I, I can't tell you how many Ash tattoos I've seen at these conferences. And it's it's just really fascinating. Yeah, I mean, my two co-hosts that we usually do this with, they both have uh, Ash Evil Dead tattoos. Yeah, it's uh, um, it's it's kind of crazy. I, but I love the, the genre. I love the fans. Yeah. And I just find it very fascinating. It's not something that, it's not a world that I live in. But when I'm invited to do the horror film conventions, I just kind of sit back and go, wow. Yeah, because it is it is hugely popular, more popular than I ever imagined it would be, and I'm and I, you know I'm I'm glad that Evil Dead and the whole franchise is doing so well, and I think you know with um, the Walking Dead, I think there's just such you know the zombies and all the um, vampire stuff. The whole genre is mm. just taken off. Yeah, it seems it seems strange that sort of around the time the Evil Dead and the Evil Dead Two come out, you know, people were almost shunning the horror franchise, you know, trying to get it banned, trying to like they were, you know, Evil Dead the original was trying to get banned over here in the UK, but now it's almost mm-hmm. it's welcome with open arms, you know, the the most popular shows on TV are horror shows and things like that, so it's it's good to for fans of the uh, genre, it's good to see. Yeah, it's uh, um, you know, it's basic. It's just so gory soap opera. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, um there it's a heightened reality and it's fantasy and it's it's you know, closer probably to a video game than it is to mainstream film. Mm-hmm. Um 
and it feels almost interactive to people to watch because you are so emotionally yeah. moved by the the fear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Thank you, uh, Cassie, for joining us. You know, congratulations on the uh, obviously the Evil Dead Two and uh, and getting such a great career out of it. You know. Um, well, you said, thank you. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure and an honour uh, speaking to you today. I mean, people can uh, send you their love and uh, you know well wishes and that. You're on social media and you're on Twitter and things like that. Yes, uh, at Cassie Depiva, and then I have a website at CassieDepiva dot com. Okay. So you can check that out and see my little soap opera career here in the United States and um hopefully I will continue to be a part of the Evil Dead universe. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully uh we, we may see you um in in some UK horror conventions because I know they're growing over here, so that'd be nice. Well, all you have to do is invite me. Let me know. Yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 harass the uh, the the guys organising it, Sam. We want to see all the evil dead people over here. So, thank you. That'd be great. I'd love to come say hello to you guys. Excellent. All right, Cassie. Well, thank you so much. <laughs>